good day is going to be a beautiful day. So today we're gonna we're gonna do the mid spam. And according to the book, the layout we have to pull the green tube. And actually right now, if I'm correct, we are using the blue string as a source of light. So actually, I'm gonna use every single string on that green tube. But at the moment, the only one the beam lights up, it's the blue one. So when I pull the green tube, I can just cut it because I'm gonna use the six strands inside that tube. So, <clears throat> green tube, this is what we need. All right, so let me cut those zip ties. say is about one, two, three, four, five, about eight feet maybe. I'm gonna just pull one tube out of it. So the rest, I don't even think I'll ever touch it. I know the camera's showing everything. Oh yes it does, okay. There is so many tools in the market available for this. I have my own approach. Each one does it different way. I never worked for an ISP before. I never worked with so-called professionals. I'm just come up with my own way. I do my research, I do my homework to the best I can and then I do it to whatever it's whatever it is I'm comfortable with. So, so let's try to open this up. See here, I'm using a copper tube cutter. So, open it. I'm just kind of getting gentle turns, but I'll be kinking it a little bit at a time until I see uh, the next layer, what's behind this. Tie it, one turn. Yeah, you can see now what's in there. Uh, and get it over the turn. So I'm going to go about another inch, maybe inch and a half, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I will use this as my start opening. So I'll keep turning until I see the yellow fiber, not fiber actually, the yellow um, string that they have here. I'll show them to you once I put this up. Now every cable is different. Every cable is made different ways. So it doesn't mean what you see here is what you're gonna see when you open a cable. So, all right. So get this going. So we have our little open here. I'm gonna go to the other side and just do one. here. I don't know if you can see that yellow jacket in between. Same as here we're seeing on both ends. Yes, yes. So now I'm going to slit this one in half. That way I can get hold of that string to open the jacket into uh, to be sliced out in these ends here. For that, I have a really good scissor, and I hope I find it. Here's 
trying to go as classic as possible. Hey, do I got me blade? That works. So let me just slice this easy. First jacket is out. Now I see this orange. Orange kind of strand or cable. So this is what I need. But in order for that to work, I'm gonna have to help it and create a little opening for it. It won't start any time. There you go. Once I get the opening, I'll just cut it from here. Now I have to pull it. I should have gloves, but see it's coming with me, and at the same time it's creating that opening in the cable. So put it all the way to the other side. Should have a glove with this because this cable is very, very freaking like a knife. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, I don't want to confuse ourselves. So, once we reach the other end, all right. You can just open this jacket and you see. Now we get this exposed and this is what we're gonna this is from where we're gonna put our cable all this will be spooled at the side in case we screw up something so we have a little slack to go back and fix it so I'm gonna cut this one I'm gonna give it a little bit of slack I don't know if I'm gonna be using it or not now we have this kind of a plastic I'm take it easy with this plastic it wraps this you'll see how big it is and now I just have to take this plastic out so by twisting it I release the tension you see all this this is just a protection for the next jacket so that now we have to open this one the same way as we open the first one but this thing it's Incredible, impullable. Man, that thing has some power into it. That's why you can pull a truck with this cable. And you literally don't even move anything. To it. All right, so I wish I had my scissors right now because it don't help me a lot. Cut this side, and hopefully they both meet center you don't do what I do I sell to the profession I am doing it in my own risk and I'm not a professional so don't consult with me anyway A lot of people search about a lot of things, but they never dealt with it. They know that it worked one way, but they don't work it any other way. So they always stuck to that way. In my case, I'm, I love Discovery Channel, you know? So I discover things where I go. Not surprisingly, nobody knows you today. What am I doing here? Don't so, worry, we'll make sure we have full permission before doing anything. And uh, it's good to let people know that some work is going to be happening in here. Because people are kind of privately a little bit. So, let them know you're going to do some work. Be friendly. Oh, wait, they don't wear Because I'm right here behind people's windows and everything.
All right, perfect. So, I had actually a small vice grip that I don't have today, which I've been using to hold the cable. That way I can perform my work without this moving, but today is not the day. So we're gonna try to cut this now, and good luck with this. Because this blonde hair, Oh. Yeah. Alright, and this blade is sharp, trust me. Now, 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 what are we gonna do? Uh, we need to have some good brand tape. Now again, this is my way of doing it. It's not a standard. Others people will do it different ways. But this is how I do it. So. But every cable I do a different way. It's not the same for every single one of them. I just want to wrap just a little bit, push things together. Sorry, did not know what happened. Looks like the camera was faced to the sun. It overheated and then it just stopped. Uh, well, I did the next one, so. Um, for the second jacket. I wish you guys could see that, but that's fine. Um, you can do it two ways, just with the blade slowly. Open one side, open this one, split it in the center, and pull the jacket. Okay. Or I was gonna use this, but then it's too little to use, it doesn't make any sense. So, this one has two blades. I don't know if you can see the blades here. And these, once you squeeze them in the center and you just pull, it will come out. But eh, there is always easy ways to do it. Now, what we need to do now, I hope the camera is gonna shut again. We're gonna cut this. As you see here, we have two. We're gonna pull one on each side. And we already made a slant in the other end. I don't know if you see it here, we already cut it. So that way when we reach there, the jacket will come off. Okay? All right, let's try to do it. So we're gonna cut in here. And then we're gonna cut in here. The same as we did for the other one, we have to help it. So we have to create a little opening for this orange to go through, just a little one, and then it will follow. And then we have to do the same on the other side. We don't want to touch the loose tubes, so just be gentle with this, don't push too hard. So it is two ways to do it. You can grab, I don't think this will do it, but now I'll use my fingers again. There you go. I'm in. Once I'm in, piece of cake. Um, you can use a screwdriver, pan, roll this in, and then just pull it. Well, it's kind of short a little bit, but 
You just have to grab it. There you go. It's start already, so we're not gonna worry about that. Let's throw this one too. Some patient. The whole process need patient. It's a reverse. It's kind of awkward. Let me just try to twist it a little bit. Maybe I can have a better. Hey, look at that opening that I made. I don't see it. Huh. I swear I made it. No, right here. And it should go in there. Perfect. Once that thing is in, I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to try to put <laughs> These are for fixed flat. Yeah. So this will, you can hold it with tape, whatever you want. Okay, and I'm just twisting. And that should give it. Give it a good. Go. That's it. Once it starts, it starts. It literally starts. So let me pull this one out. Now I can use this big one just to pull it. Use my hand. I hate to use my hand, but these things are really sharp. Center. That's what it makes it work. And you can twist or put a tape if the cable is kind of short a little bit. But if you have the money to buy the tools, yeah, be my guest. You don't have to deal with this. It's just, yeah, you can say the tool does not cost that much, yeah, but they will add up, I think. They will add up to a point, like. So we can see now the jacket is just coming out on its own. This is tough one. This is a really tough one. I don't think they don't make this cables anymore because they kind of aggressive a bit. So many layers. And layers. And layers. To get to the equilibrium. Luckily they don't make Ethernet cables like this. Alright. Done. This one. So, this is our six slow tubes of fiber. Alright, they're right here. Let me put a little tiny piece of tape in here. That way they don't keep moving left and right, left and right. So, and we do this once, you know. We don't do the, every box we do just one time. Have to go back to it. Alright, let me just choose the blade and put this one out. And now I'm gonna have to take another layer. Just add this to the file. Now we're gonna have to work with this one.
again the camera overheated and we lost connection we gotta figure something for this but anyway let's keep rolling so we are opening here our fibers those tubes from each other's we need the green one remember what the book says we need the green one I put a light in the OLT side for the green and the blue. So let me pull this out and see if it's the blue that is giving me this light. So here it should be the blue because that's what I have on the other side. Pull it. I can see is the blue, but it's just it's hard to see from there. There you go. That's the blue string. That's the blue string. I don't know if you can see it. That has the fiber light. So yeah, we're good on this. So we did the right cut. Now we have to untwist it. Because literally in here, all we need to work with is this green one. We don't need to work with nothing else at the moment and I don't think we're going to be working with anything else This is the main, this is where my port is going to be. I don't know if you see that. Yeah. This is where both of these cables are going to be. In and out. Okay. So let's open it. Right. And then we can go from there. The sun is getting closer right now. So I may have to move umbrella a little bit to have more shade there you go we're gonna play with the sun today and also we're gonna need I have this as a silicon I know it comes with a rubber but the rubber it comes with it is kind of awkward a bit it's too sticky and every time you open it it made a mess so I'm gonna put a silicon and wait for it to dry and use it as a gasket if you know what I mean now let's open this one now and see what we have inside I'm hoping we're still recording. 
sometimes when you do something, it's hard to go back and do it. It's breezy, I love it. You know, it's been a while. Three months of suffering. These are the accessories and whatever is needed, blah blah, the tape, we're not going to use, we're not going to use none of this tape, are we? You know? So we have to find the other little accessories that we have. Are we going to use all these trays? Nope. We're not going to use them all. So I will probably leave two trays, a max, and all the rest of the trays, they're going to be somewhere else. So we're going to only use one. All these, there is no need for them here. All right, let's get it going. So, well, this is what we're gonna be doing today. Oh, not today, yeah, this part of the day. Let me take this one out. And then, I think yesterday we left, if you watched the previous video, we left something in here. There you go. So, today is gonna be the day well, we're going to make sure everything is working as intended, all right? So, this is what we're going to have. The wire coming up from the top splitter, all the way there, it's going to come to this box. I don't know if you see that, but let me get it. The wire coming out of that one, from the green, blue tube, the blue fiber string, is gonna come and get spliced out to here to this one to two. One output of it is gonna go to this one. The next output is gonna go to the next one to two and then to another box. Alright, follow me on this.
All right, just come back from lunch. Uh, did a few things. I'm gonna put a little perimeter fence right here. Um, but for now, we get that set in there. So we're gonna have this string, which I don't know if you see the lights out of it. Anyway, we're gonna have that spliced in to a single line that is gonna come in from a hole right here goes down to this box where it's gonna attach to the splitter one to two and then one to eight but first it looks like it's gonna rain in about two hours so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this gasket whatever silicone it come with a gasket but it's not good at all so I'm gonna fill up all that gap extra let it dry out and hopefully when it dry, it will create a perfect seal. So let me get this done. All right. So what we did in here, this is the cable coming in, the single mode from our first box. Okay, it's getting together in there. And oh, let me pull this out. That's the cable going in. That's the splice to this one to two splitter. One is being cut to be spliced to the next one to two splitter. And this one has been attached here to the one to eight splitter. And this is, let's say, our testing power. So we are here at minus 11. Uh, I would love it to be a little bit higher than that so I'm gonna aim at minus 14 and for that I have to add an attenuator let me get it and I'll be right back okie dokie that is our minus uh, 3 dB attenuator plus 3 dB attenuator um, no actually minus 3 I'm sorry it's just to bring the power up on the negative side, we'll bring it down. Okay. Anyway, we're aiming at minus one, minus 14 per g -pon, and this is what we have in here, minus 14. So here we're sure we're safe. So all we have to do now, just connect this eight houses to this one, and good to go. So, I couldn't test the g -pon because I don't have the power. I may bring it in tomorrow and before doing anything, we'll do the test. So today was quite of a bit of accomplishment in this portion of the park. And now I just have to roll cables out to my clients and get this thing done. Tomorrow plan is to set up the next eight. So see you in the next one. Hey, we're back in here on Monday to close what we start last week. This is our third split in box in this RV park to go to eight mobile homes. 
the end has been attenuated because the signal has been strong and we're gonna use the first out just to hook up one mobile home so we have here our cheap on connected very simple okay and then the cheap on is powered by a PoE right there and my computer is connected straight to the PoE so we're gonna test in here and see what we got okay so let's test our speed So we are on the 800s in the download side and it should be the same in the 800s and the upload side. So accomplished here. That's what we got in this RV parks and that's what these mobile homes if they want that speed but we have a different plans 100 and 100 is great it's been performing really well it's been doing really really good because of the ping for gaming or streaming unlimited devices it doesn't matter it will work so 100 up and 100 down is the speed that we suggest for but if somebody wanted more yeah we can provide there is no issue with that um, but as you can see it works this is a DIY project Again, I never worked for an ISP, I never did this. I'm just doing it as I'm going. And I guess common sense and homeworks will get it done. So now we're gonna close this one out. We're gonna take this Jeep on and install it. And then we're gonna go and work in the next splitting box for the next eight homes. See you in the next one.